Hello everybody, Fady Boy here. Welcome or welcome back to another video guys. In this video, I'll be showing you all the best natural macro settings to get fruits, which you can turn into materials. So yeah, with, before we start, can you please drop a like and subscribe as that I'm on the road to 25k subscribers. And also, you know, it took me quite a while to find these settings. So with this guide, you should be able to get like 10 plus fruits per minute, which is like 110 minutes and that's like um, 600 in an hour. It just all depends. Okay, but before I show you all the, the macro, make sure you guys add a haste to be into your hive and get as much haste, bee equips or whatever you can get into your hive because the more speed, the better it is. And you guys are probably saying, Faded, won't this break my macro, blah, blah. No, it won't. Because if you go into the settings, and then you put your correct movement speed, which is down here somewhere, right here. If you put your correct movement speed without any haste or anything, then you, it basically won't break, so you should be good. So yeah, let's hop straight into the first macro. First, we're going to start off with Sunflower. Sunflower is a very OP field for like leaves and stuff. So yeah, let's, let's get straight into it. So for Sunflower, we have X Snake as the pattern shape, the length medium, width 8, and I put four minutes, but you guys can put higher because my bag fills up really fast. And um, put pack to like a hundred percent. And you want to make sure the start location's on center. Now on the bottom, you just want to put drift comp on. You know, gather with shift lock. You don't need that. You don't need this. All you need is L slash R for rotate camera. Just put that to none and one. And then to hive by reset. But if you need honey, just put walk. And for distance, I just put 10. So if you guys want to know what it looks like, here's what it looks like. And look, I already got a sunflower seed from my cub buddy. And another one already. And another one. So as you guys can see, it's, it's, we just started on the field and already gotten three sunflower seeds. And as you can see, there's a sunflower seed right there. It's not going to miss that. And if you guys have windy bee as well, this will carry your sunflower seeds or whatever by a lot. So you can get way more than 10 plus per minute if you have windy bee and if you're lucky. So what this mainly does is just basically farms in the middle in a special movement type. So that you can just like collect all the sunflowers within the middle and stuff like that. But if you have haste, it pretty much like travels around the field. As you can see, I'm getting all the sunflower seeds. I'm not missing out on anything right here. Alright, let me stop the macro here. As you can see, I got a whole bunch, guys. Look at this, guys. Five from sunflower field. One, two. So now that we've done sunflower seeds, let's move on to strawberries. Okay, so with strawberry, it's a little bit different, but it's basically the same pattern shape. So you just want to make sure it's on X snake. And then the length, put it on large. The width, nine. And then, um, you know, put as much minutes as you want. I recommend as much as you can. <clears throat> Drift comp, um, L slash R, um, rotate camera none and one. Um, to hide by reset, you know, it just all depends if you need honey or not. Um, distance, I just put 10. Alright, let me start the macro and show you guys how it looks like. Like I said, guys, if you guys want the best results, just try and get as much haste providers as possible. I'm not saying fill your hive with like haste bees. Maybe just get like bee equips and stuff like that that have haste and a hasty bee gifted. That should be enough. As you guys can see, it's basically forming the whole of like the middle area slash the lower area. The thing about strawberry, there's not really much leaves, so it's kind of hard to like get strawberries fast. For this strat as well, I also recommend trying to get like a, some tadpoles, maybe like two or three, because they're really useful for fields like these. From that farming, I got like the same as sunflower, but of course sunflower is like a bit more as well. Sunflower is always going to be better than all the other fields because the amount of leaves it spawns. Okay, now that we covered um, strawberries and sunflower seeds, let's move on to pineapples. So because pineapple is quite a large field, I kind of change this up a bit. That I might need to do like a bit more changing in the future and stuff like that. So you just want to put pattern shape X snake, um, length large. I put width as eight uh, minutes. I put on four because my bag fills up really fast. Like I said, um, start a location. You always want to make sure it's center. Um, 
L slash R, check. Um, rotate camera on none and one. And if you want honey, just put it to walk. If you don't, reset. And then distance. Let me also show you guys what it looks like to do this. Okay, so that's about it for um, pineapples. Let's move on to the last fruit, blueberries. The gathering field is going to be on pine tree. The pattern shape is um, X snake. And then the length, you could put at medium or large, but I'm just going to put it to like large. Because like, it all depends. If you want to like farm like mainly in the middle um, and try and get as much within the middle, then I'd say keep it at medium. But the only problem is with pine tree, the leaves are kind of weird. It mostly spawns like... Like, like not really to the middle but like kind of off to the sides and stuff like that so I'll say go like large or maybe extra large but I'm still trying to like figure out the right configs for pine tree so stay tuned like I said uh, minutes you know just put the same like put as much as you how long you can farm for when your bag fills start location put it to center drift comp check L slash R check rotate camera none one um, if you want honey put walk if you don't want honey put reset distance 10 and let's get let's get let's get the macro started so you can see how it looks okay so we just started the macro and it already collected two blueberries from the field it got some extras from mantises but we're not counting that as you can see it pretty much travels all around the middle slash like um other areas as well the only part that it doesn't cover is like the the like left side that's the only problem about it but hey it's fine it's collecting everything within the middle and like off to the side and stuff like that so it's pretty good right so far we probably collected like four um blueberries already has it even been like a minute yet it's, all, it's almost been a minute though This movement pattern is really OP, it's pretty OP and not much people use it as well. So yeah guys, I hope this video helps guys. With this tutorial you, should, you guys should be able to get like um, thousands of fruits like very easily. Um, but if you want to like maximize the fruits and stuff like that, I recommend turning off everything except from like glue dispenser clock and maybe like um, spider and werewolf kills you can turn those on as well. And yeah. So I hope this guide helped you guys, um, like I said updates will be soon and if you need help with any other tutorials click one of these videos on screen as that they will help you a lot. And if you're watching through from TikTok you know you can just scroll on my page and you will find a video that you need.